By watching this video, you will learn how to export the brushwork of maps as a model, which can then be turned into a prop or a reference to animate or build models around the world. You cannot export the props directly on the maps though. All you need is Hammer Map Editor, which is part of the game specific SDK, Crafty, Blender, or any modeling software that can open OBJ files and export SMD files. Intermediate knowledge of UV mapping and texturing models. You could also just use the UV map and textures from the map itself. You also need Crowbar. It requires to be set up to compile models for your specific game. I will also link to another guide of mine which will be useful to keep apart your custom content from original game content to make life easier. Let's begin. I am porting this CSGO map to Left 4 Dead 2. I want to turn some brushwork into a prop and edit an existing prop to fit the world better as well. First, I want to turn this stone step into a model. Add a placement reference point in the shape of a pyramid. The top point of the pyramid is where the origin of the prop will be. If you want the origin inside of that brush, make a hole so that the pyramid head is not clipping into the brush. Otherwise, the compiler will join both brushes into one, which is good if you want optimized meshes, but bad for our purpose. Select all the brushwork you want to turn into a prop. This is very easy if you have turned it into a detail brush already or put all pieces into a vis group. Once selected, copy your selection and the reference brush. Make a new map and paste everything into this new empty map. Now you can compile this map, but we'll use a different configuration than normal to make this entire process faster. You could also go on with just the VMF file, but Crafty is pretty wonky and will often not export all faces properly when importing VMF. Or you may even end up with a broken and useless OBJ file. Press F9 to save the map and bring up the compile window. In the advanced compiling window, select the fast configuration. Remove the checkboxes from Light EXE, Copy File Path and Game EXE. Doing this will prevent the time consuming process of calculating the light, which we won't need. It'll stop the compiler from putting the map into the game folder and it won't launch the game. All it will do is simply turn all brushwork into a BSP. Once compiled, open up Crafty and load the map. Then export the map as an OBJ file. Now you can open up Blender and import your OBJ file. Once imported, you will have to turn the map by 90 degrees so that it's oriented correctly. You might also have to join multiple meshes into one. The first thing you want to do now is to look for the reference mesh you made. In edit mode, select the vertex at the point of the pyramid. Press Shift and S, cursor to selection. Then back in object mode, go to Transform Origin to 3D Cursor. That way, the origin of what will be the prop is exactly on that point of the pyramid. You can now delete the pyramid. Then you can reset the cursor location by pressing Shift and C. Then, in object mode, with the mesh selected, press Shift and S again and pick Selection to 3D Cursor. So that the mesh is in the center of the Blender world, which makes the entire thing easier to work with. 
Now that you have the brushwork as a mesh in Blender, you can modify it however you want. The most important things right now are a working UV map to make textures and of course a fitting material name. The mesh will already have a UV map based on the texture coordination in Hammer, but it does not export the textures for you. If you want the exact same textures as used in your map, you must gather them from the game files and edit the VMT to use the right shader, from light mapped generic to vertex lit generic. I will take some time to edit the model, but I will skip that process in this video. Once you modified the mesh to your liking, export and compile it. Then make VMT material files and VTF texture files for it, unless you use the ones that you took from the game files. Once the prop is done, you can put all of its content into the game folder, reload hammer and then place the prop in your map. Placing the prop in your map will be easy, since we still have that reference pyramid in hammer which shows us where the prop should be placed. The prop that you build shows the origin as a yellow X in the 2D views. After you placed the prop in your mat, I would recommend you to put the original brushwork into a custom vis group so that you can hide it. When hidden, the map compiler will ignore it, but if required, you can unhide it and do the entire process again. And now we successfully transformed brushwork into a prop. And this is technically where this tutorial would end. But we can use all this knowledge to also just export the world to fit your own models onto it or animate models over it. For example, I myself use this technique to import the surroundings of the mall so that I can animate Jimmy Gibbs race car on it. On this map I want to swap out a ladder because it's clipping into my catwalk. If you want to do such a thing, first you need to copy the prop and its immediate surroundings into a map. But remember, you cannot export props. If you have any obstacles that you need to be aware of, build brushwork around the prop so you know the general location of where a prop is. Swap out the model of the prop with axis underscore helper dot mdl. You need to use that model to accurately place the helper pyramid. The point where all three lines on the model meet is where the pyramid head should be. If that point is not on the grid directly, you can unsnap the pyramid from the grid by holding down the alt key and moving the pyramid in the 2D viewports. Just make sure it is as close to that point as possible. Compile that map, run it through Crafty, load it into Blender, use the pyramid to place the surroundings origin and then move the surroundings to the center of the Blender world again as we did before. And then decompile the prop you want to modify and load it into Blender. Now you have the prop you want to modify and its surroundings. You can modify the prop to your liking. Export it, compile it and then swap out the original unfitting prop with your new prop. And that is pretty much all you can do with exported maps as models. If you would like, you could subscribe to my channel to see new mods or tutorials such as these. I also have a Discord server if you want to hop in and look around. See you guys next time. Happy mapping.